stopped and got these breezeway screens. I was looking at them online and I actually found them and uh, the Petro in Kenley, North Carolina there at the 106, I believe, that big, big Petro there. Uh, found them in there a little cheaper than online, so I canceled the online order. And uh, if you guys don't know, these are uh, screens that go in your windows. Uh, you just, they come multi, uh, you know, uh, they fit multiple trucks. Um, it doesn't say on the box. I don't know, maybe on the other side. Yeah, there we go. Uh, there's the trucks that this one fits. Uh, right there, Breezeway number two, Freightliner, Cascadia. There you go. Uh, so it comes with a bunch of, uh, basically if your truck's got a vent post, you know, if you've got the, if you get the vent part of the window, uh, I probably need that one, but, uh, they make them for all kinds of trucks. There you go. There you go. Uh, look at that. You'll see which one you need. Just find your truck on there. Maybe you need the breezeway three. Maybe you need the number one. This is the breezeway number two and they come two to a pack here. So, uh. There you go, I'm gonna get this thing out, get it set up, get them ready to go. I had these on the International a few, uh, hell, a decade ago, uh, but pretty handy. Nice if you wanna keep your window down and keep the bugs out uh, at night. You know, they are plastic, so they're not gonna protect you very well if someone wants to get in your truck. So keep that in mind where you actually use them. You know, if you're out, you know, by yourself uh, in a, in a, a air, not, you know area with no traffic you know may, maybe but if you're in a bad part of town uh, i probably recommend you just roll your windows up <laughs> but uh here we go all right there's what they look like out of the box uh you know just window screen i do like this comes with a replaceable window screen it's just got the groove you know you buy that little rubber seal or maybe if you can keep the rubber seal in this one you know if the screen gets torn up or needs to be replaced uh, you know, that's nice. That's nice because you can buy that nice metal aluminum screen and uh, that would hold up a little better. So, uh, but it's got the, it comes with plastic screen in it. We got the instructions right here. We're going to see how we need to cut this for the truck that we have. Uh, basically, all this up here comes notched. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's got a bunch of different notches in it. Basically, we're going to cut this to the notch that fits our truck. Um, let's see here. Select break off lines, lower window, place screen and opening to verify cutout lines. Suggested cutout lines are listed below. Uh, a and B, 8 Freightliner Cascadia up to 2018 with wing windows. I'm not sure what a wing window is. I'll have to check that out, but... Um, we, we'll have to we'll have to do a little look on looking and seeing on that one. There you go. We we'll got her fixed up. It's about a three quarter window screen there. About a three quarter fits in there real nice. I'm pretty happy with it. Now I just got to do the other side and we'll be ready to rock. All right. So a little bit about how all this works is you find the notch here that it tells you to cut. Like mine is number eight right here. Number eight from a Cascadia. I got my utility knife you score it it breaks off pretty easy you come over here on this end I got to cut a notch right here it's already laid out though lighting's not very good sorry I just got to cut this little notch out right here and then I got to come up here and I got to cut along this line so it fits up in the corner of my window uh, here sorry the lighting's not better but uh, yeah right there so it fits in there but uh, they fit pretty good I'm pretty happy with it so far uh, like I said, I had these before. They're nice. You know, they just let some air in the truck if you don't want to be idling. Um, it's nice out tonight. It is 60, 68 degrees there, if you can see that. 68 degrees. Um, so, yeah, it's a nice night to have the windows open. But, uh, you know, we're getting into that uh, late spring and the bugs are out and about. All right, there you have it, folks. Passenger side is in driver's side is in i do like having the screen on the outside of the plastic the way the bugs can't get anywhere in any of this um i paid 70 dollars tax and all at petro for these um like you see it's about a it's about a two-thirds maybe three-quarter window screen there uh i mean i can feel the air coming in i appreciate this it's 68 degrees outside 
uh, vent all that hot air out of the truck, you know what I'm saying, and uh, kick my fan on back there. May buy me a secondary fan and mount. I've been thinking about mounting it on that uh, uh, pillar on that handrail right there. That way I can kind of have it mounted up there, blowing the cool air back into the sleeper, you know. Um, but it does make a difference when I pop that vent in the sleeper back there. Uh, it does bring more air through the whole truck, so uh, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Um, like I said, I paid $70 tax and all at Petro for these. Different prices for different trucks. They make three sets that cover most makes and models. Um, if you've got like uh, a, a Columbia or an older Mac, they're like 30 or 40 bucks. They're a lot cheaper, but if you got a newer uh, truck, you know, they're going to hit you because eh, they got you. So I'm sitting here enjoying the breeze with the window screens in. Let's talk about the economics of them. So I figure about 260 a gallon for diesel right now. We're looking at about 0.75 gallons of diesel per hour burned when we're idling. That's about $1.95 per hour to idle the truck, just in fuel cost. So I figure it would take about 35 hours, maybe 36 hours to pay for these things if not idling. So it's a pretty quick return on investment, you know, say, say you take three nights where you don't idle, you know, I'm typically not an idle all night type of guy, you know, I'm like a, I'll idle, you know, for a couple hours, turn the truck off for a couple hours, turn the truck on for a couple hours, turn it off. So let's say it takes a couple weeks, you know, to recoup the money. I think they're a great investment at $70. Uh, you guys let me know what you think, but um, there it is guys. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate everybody watching. Hope everybody enjoyed. Thanks. If you made it this far, hit that like button for me. Click on one of these other videos to continue enjoying uh, great trucking content. Take care of each other. Bye.